The leader of the Nigerian terror group Boko Haram appears to have been replaced. Boko Haram is linked to Daesh and an announcement in a Daesh magazine says that Abu Musab al banawi is now in charge. He was previously Boko Haram's spokesman. The publication doesn't say what happened to the previous leader Abu Bakr Sheikha. Well, with more on this a rather intriguing story, we're joined now by TRT World's Fidelis and Bar. Fidelis, uh, good to see you there. So, what exactly do we know about uh, Boko Haram's apparent new leader then? Well, uh, since he was announced as um, Boko Haram's spokesperson in February 2015, uh, not much has been, you know, uh, read or you know written or published about him. But, you know, the only thing we know is that he released a video, just one of the videos, where he sat down, his face was blurred out, and you know, no one actually even knows who he is, whether he's just an imposter who is not even a member of Boko Haram, whether it's a propaganda, no one knew until now that he's been announced as the new leader. Because uh, Bubaka Shekau, the former leader, was charismatic. He could come out boldly, you know, in front of cam uh, you know, in the, when they do their recordings, and say things with his face being shown, you know, urging his fighters to, you know, he was more radical. He was more, he had a more militant approach to how things should be. Unlike, um, you know, the new leader who in his only, uh, more like um, a video released to the media was just very calm, even though he still like um, supported the ideologies of uh, Boko Haram. So do we know what's happened to the previous leader? Before now, there have been reports that uh, uh, Bubaka Shekau, the former leader, had been killed. There were several reports. In fact, about three times the Nigerian military did say they had killed him. And, you know, he surfaced in uh, videos. So no one actually knows where he is, whether he's dead, or whether he's been replaced. But for some time now, the last time, you know, was uh, last August, uh, uh, just about a year ago, when he released an audio message urging his supporters to be steadfast that he had not, you know, that he's not dead as reported, that um, he was still the leader of Boko Haram. But since then, he's not been seen in any video. He's not released any other statement. And, uh, you know, Boko Haram has also been losing ground to both the Nigerian soldiers, uh, the soldiers in Niger, Cameroon, and Chad, who are actually more like uh, part of a multinational force that are out to ensure that uh, Boko Haram fighters are dislodged from the areas they were controlling. Okay, Fidel, uh, Fidelis, thank you very much for the update.